Hey y'all, welcome back to your favorite random girl on the internet. My channel is like a box of chocolates because you never know what you're going to get. And I know I have a lot of randomness, randomness, different stuff going on. Clearly I'm at a different angle right now and I'm going to explain all of that in a second. But for those of you who just want to get to the thick of the video, I'm going to leave timestamps down below. I bet you have not noticed until now that I'm saying something, but you have never, ever, ever, ever seen my phone in a video. And that's because I was using my phone. I was a brand, and still am, brand new YouTuber, fresh out the box. So I just started with my phone because I didn't know what I'm doing, what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. But now I have a camera. I'm really fancy now. And I feel like a real YouTuber, you know? But um, I am still, like, kind of working with it, still kind of trying to learn how to use it. I did a lot a lot of research before I made this purchase but you can only do so much research the rest of it comes from you actually having it in your hands and playing with it and just like um, trying to get used to it right so I'm just trying to um, make sure the lighting is good and the uh, white balance and all that is good and also um, if you just watched the short that I just posted I was waiting for a jack to come so I could use my mic and I waited all morning when I could have been filming all morning just for me to order the wrong part mm -hmm. so if the audio sounds crappy i apologize but i'm at the point now where i just have to just record and that's why the angling is different because i want the camera a little bit closer to me so the audio isn't so terrible you know what i mean so i'm just trying to do my best bear with me pretty please i know y'all welcome i love y'all that's why i was very frustrated last week because i felt as though i had reached my ending point with me filming with my phone because it can only do so much you know what i mean it can only handle so much so i just figured it was time to get a camera and so that's what i did but yeah that is pretty much why things look like this sound like this you know i appreciate y'all bearing with me as i grow um, i cannot wait to like just see and look back at myself one day and see how far i've come because definitely buying a camera is definitely a milestone for a youtuber i feel like well this is a milestone for because it wasn't cheap. I'm just trying to learn and be better as a person and as a YouTuber. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to kind of pick up where I left off from last week. Y'all, I was so over it. I didn't even do a thumbnail. I was so over it. But um, just to talk about how I feel about Gabby Douglas not competing in the 2024 Paris Olympics, that really, really like just, oh my gosh, hurt my feelings so bad. But I do love Simone Biles too, but Gabby Douglas has like a special, special place in my heart. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of try to make this quick because I hope this thing, if this camera dies as I'm filming, y'all, that'll be that'll be my last job because i've been trying all morning but anyways back in 2012 when gabby won the all around right she was the first african-american um gymnast female gymnast to win the all around in gymnastics right and so i was eight years old and i think that this was my moment but i think that every child at least i hope has like a moment in their childhood that they kind of realize that the world is theirs that they can do anything they want to do right and so when gabby won that was like my moment because um especially for all my other minorities out there you know like when somebody does something that is huge and they look like you it is like a really 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 big deal like when anybody does anything that is a big deal of course you feel happy for them but it's when it when they look like you when they are a minority like you it just hits different right and so when i saw that that was my first like kind of epiphany that you know you can i guess do anything and all of that kind of dream stuff right and as you get older you kind of start to grow out of that mindset unfortunately i try not to i still think i can you know be the first child to ever be on a box of weedies but yeah so i still kind of have that you can do anything mindset but that's when it started when i saw that when gabby one. And it's a Gabby Gold! I will never, ever, ever forget that moment, right? So I was eight years old and I was, it was the summer after third grade, right? And so um, that year prior when I was like in the third grade, I did a project on Mae Jameson. Now, Mae Jameson was, like, the first African-American female to ever, like, make it into outer space or something like that. So, like, that's kind of when it started, but it really, really, really hit home that summer when Gabby Douglas won, right? And so, um, even, like, um, back then when I was, like, maybe 
five or six or whatever you know that's when obama was elected and yeah like it it really was a big deal but like because i was still kind of young it didn't really like resonate with me that much as it would have if i was a little older when that if that happened during that time so fast forward to 2016 you know gabby douglas comes back and then the world is introduced to the one and only simone biles right so during this time you know i was so excited to see gabby right you know i she had really made my world so bright when I watched in 2012 and now I get to have a part two so I thought um the reason like the thing about 2016 that kind of like rubbed me the wrong way I loved how you know Simone Biles she was amazing but the thing that I didn't like was that I felt as though they were trying to tear Gabby down to put Simone up and that didn't make any sense to me because Simone was great regardless she's gonna be she's just good okay so like I don't really feel like it was a reason to kind of make a story out of you know uh Gabby or she they were trying to say she was a bad teammate or she had like a stank face or she had an attitude but I felt like I was heavily media driven more than it was actually that it actually happened you know what I mean so like they might have had caught our shot of her like having a face or or whatever right and I just felt like it was so ridiculous that they made a story out of that when it was probably just grasping our shots it probably was like nothing you know what I mean like if you've been on a team before if you played a sport everybody has had a moment when they haven't been the best teammate or it's everybody's human you know what I mean so I just thought it was it really irritated me that they put Gabby in that light and I thought like they were doing it to make Simone look better which was not necessary because she was already amazing she was gonna win she was gonna win regardless so that is why when we fast forward to 2024 now this summer i was so ready to see gabby and simone competing in the same olympics at the same time you know with and against each other to i don't know like a redemption or, or something right but now that she's not competing oh my gosh y'all just broke my heart i mean that, that wasn't like the reason like oh i want to run it back like y'all need to make Gabby look better but no 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 no. it was mainly just because like I love her like she has like a, such a special soft spot in my heart and when I saw that she has an ankle injury oh my gosh y'all I just like sobbed and sobbed and sobbed so like that's kind of like the timeline and uh, storyline of like why I feel the way I feel because um you know Gabby was kind of like my first epiphany and then you know seeing how she was treated in 2016 and then now she's back again you know the amount of ice baths and stretching they probably had to do to keep their bodies top tier at this age is like insane so I don't know I just really feel that I really I hope she comes back again I hope that 2016 was not the last that I have or we have seen of her because that was not like you just wanted to be a good ending and I don't think that's the way that a good way to end your career with the whole world thinking that you have an attitude when really like you probably don't I'm glad Simone is back because you know in the uh, 2020 Olympics she dropped out and you know she thought America hated her so of course like come back and have a, like retire on a good note you know what I mean so I, I would want the same thing for Gabby and I feel like I'm having like last week when I talked about this I, I didn't have a script I don't have a script now and I feel like my talking points were completely different you know like when you were when you film something the first time it's always like the best and then you go and do it for like the sixth or seventh time now and I feel like I'm like I don't know I feel like I'm missing some stuff but yeah I'm gonna have to keep it short yet again this week y'all I'm so sorry but once I really get the jig of this camera and I have a bunch of errands to run today honestly so I'm gonna go I guess to Best Buy to try to find the right jack so I can use my handy dandy mic so the audio can be crisp and clear because I do not play about my audio y'all I really do not but I hope me being closer a little bit closer to the camera than it being all the way over there um can help like kind of you know bridge that gap but honestly I, I like this angle too I want to know what y'all think do y'all like the angle do y'all like me like sitting straight and like I don't know yeah so thank y'all all for bearing with me through this you know video this is my first video with my brand new camera and I'm still getting used to it, like I just said but I am gonna go back into my story times because I still have a lot to tell and I'm gonna have probably a good I do have a let's talk about it plan for later this month so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead
ahead and end it here before I cause myself any more of a headache because I don't know like it says it's dead but like it's recording but like I have it plugged in so hopefully it's like charging as I I don't know y'all I don't know I don't know I'm not tech savvy I'm not I really wanted to like actually do this video with everything the way that I want it but I'm not gonna do like a third Gappy Douglas video so this is pretty much it um about that topic and I do have a lot of I guess like more thoughts about it but you know as the Olympics like goes on throughout the summer I'm probably going to come on here and cover some of my thoughts that I see um when I watch it you know because I do talk about sports on this channel sometimes because I'm just a random girl on the internet that talks about random freaking stuff but yeah I probably will be coming back um about the Olympics maybe not specifically about Gabby Douglas but if something does come up in the news about her I probably will like have my thoughts about it because y'all know now of the history of why I feel the way I feel about Gabby and why she's so special to me but I would like to know what y'all are most excited about this coming Olympics in any sport not just gymnastics who are you excited to see in track who are you excited to see in swimming who are you excited to see in diving rowing any of that you know so um just let me know down below in the comments and please like this video because i have been struggling to get it up so ooh, i really appreciate it if y'all can just you know give me a like because that'd be great but yeah other than that i will see y'all later